Hello and welcome to our second tips and tricks video to accompany our second newsletter. The first tip is about iBase. Sometimes you may want to link an entity record to many others in one go. For example, to link an intelligence report record to all of the entities it refers to. The multiple links function from the new menu will allow you to do this. You click select down the bottom left to locate your main entity. And then you click add down the bottom right to select all the other entity records you want it to be linked to. And you'll probably need to click add more than once to get all the different records you need. If you prefer, you can use a drag and drop method. As an example, I have a tab open already of a person. If I go to that person record, I can then choose the icon or select the icon and drag and drop that up onto the multiple links tab, wait till that appears and then drop over on the right hand side. Once you've added all the records you want, you then choose the correct link type and if you need to, you can use the drop down arrow button to change the link strength or to add direction. Now you click OK and fill in the link fields as appropriate and of course the fields you have will depend on your database. Now just to show you the result we're just going to go and locate the document entity we were using and show an iBase link chart to show that those entities are now linked with the same link type to the original document. Now you might already know that you can also link two entities together by using a drag and drop method. So we're just gonna go and link together a person called Vidal Picard with a person called Susan Middleton using drag and drop. Again, the key to this is when you drag one of the records onto the other tab, is to wait until that tab appears and then drop in the appropriate place. And note it's brought up exactly the same dialogue as before. It's the multiple links dialogue and therefore we can carry on adding in more entities on the right hand side should we wish to link Vidal Picard as an associate to many other entities at the same time. Now let's look at connection multiplicity in Analyst Notebook. This chart is showing three different ways we can work with the same five transactions. Single means we can only have a single or one link per connection between the same two entities. Directed will group the links by direction and multiple allows us to have one link for every transaction. The connection multiplicity you use will determine how the chart will look and how you can analyze the data. On a chart, you can find the option in the links item properties under style and connection style. One and only one date and time can be stored on a link in the links item properties, the date and time area. If you have a number of occurrences between two entities and want to analyse date and time on those links, 
using this property, then the only multiplicity that will enable accurate analysis is multiple. By structuring a chart with multiple, you can create timeline charts. You can also use multiple multiplicity to allow you to hold date and time on links in an association chart. And use tools such as histograms to analyze based on date and time. Here you can easily identify a period of high activity and also periods of inactivity. This chart was created by importing and using directed multiplicity. the number of occurrences on the link label. Connection multiplicity is also helpful when you want to simplify a chart. This chart has three associate links with different values on the label, which is excellent for analysis, but you may want to simplify it down to one link for presentation purposes. Select the links you would like to collapse down. Right mouse click on one of them and go to Combine Properties. And then under Style, Connection Style, you can change the multiplicity to directed or single as appropriate. If we want to collapse these links down on this chart, we need to ensure that the numeric values on the link labels sum prior to us collapsing multiple to either directed or single. We do this by going to Chart Properties. In this example, we're going to right-click on the chart, go to Chart Properties, Options, Behaviour, and tick some numeric links. Now when we decide to collapse the links down to either directed or single, the numbers will add up. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like any more information, including a copy of the newsletter, please get in touch.